Want to know why cats love boxes and cardboard? Because cardboard is made of trees and trees are the natural scratching post. <laughs> so here's some simple DIY toilet paper roll cat toys that you can make today. Seriously. What you'll need is toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, string, cat, scissors. You can press pause pause and get your supplies and then meet me back here. So first we're gonna make a series of wand toys with the string and toilet paper roll because cats love wand toys, they're interactive, that means that you are required to play. Cats love playing with us. So first fold the toilet paper roll and then cut a little triangle in it just to make a small hole. Then tie the string and you have a wand. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if your cat loves toilet paper roll toys. Now cats get bored easily, they get finicky. So an easy way to change this up is to cut little strips and fray the edges. And then you can fold it like this, cut the same hole and then tie the string on it and that's a different take on the wand toy. <laughs> Another version of a wand toy that you can make, fold it in half, and we're gonna cut rings. So just cut like this. Now you have one ring, one ring, and you can tie this on a string or you can tie multiple rings on the string for a little wand toy. You can also just throw these rings around. Cats love to bat around it. Really lightweight and uh, small things. Throw it up in the air and watch them go crazy. <laughs> Another toy that you can do with these rings is cut up maybe four of them and then push them into each other like this. Here's two, three, See how you just kind of mush them together? Now you have a little ball. A little ball toy. Now Jericho really likes to do food puzzles and mazes and I also make him hunt for treats around the apartment. So you can use toilet paper rolls to make, you can use the rings, you can make little tunnels like different sizes, you can make little diggers, and you can also make treat release toys. So here's a little DIY food maze with toilet paper roll toys. You're going to use a food mat and then cut the toilet paper rolls into different sizes. Those are treat release toys and these are little tunnel diggers. You have a tunnel over there and just different varieties. Food puzzle toys are great for mental stimulation because you'll see in this video Jericho has to sniff around. He's going to use his paws and his nose to find the yummy snacks. And if you need help with treats and you like this food mat, I'll leave a uh, link in the description below. So he's going to look around to see which ones are easiest first. <laughs> and then once your cat gets used to this variety, you can change it up and make different sized tunnels. You can make the treat release toy holes a little smaller, make it a little more um, advanced <laughs> for your cat because your cat will figure out the trick fairly quickly. But you see here he's nosing around at the little frayed toy. He knows that something's yummy in there and then it falls out and then he's rewarded with a treat. So this is kind of like replicating and simulating the hunting experience except it's a little easier and more controlled. So he likes to nose around, sniff around. The rings are pretty easy so he keeps going back to those. But you want him to create different sizes and different levels for easy to difficult and this one he uses his paw to get out the treat and even if he doesn't move the treat out of the tunnel he still moved the tunnel out of the way so he's still using his physical senses and having to kind of problem solve how to get these treats and that's what hunting is all about obviously indoor cats don't hunt so we can recreate this hunting indoors with tree release toys and puzzle toys and again i recommend using a food mat just to keep the area sanitary you can also 
use a box and then you can also make those little digger toys you can put those inside of a box if you don't have a food mat but you're going to want to replace these toilet paper rolls frequently since you can't wash them and there's food touching them so you don't want to use the same ones over and over again so here he's trying to get the tree release toy very simple you close it off you fold the edges and make a hole in the middle of it this is exactly how other tree release toys work then you put the treat inside and the cat has to move it around until the treat falls out of the hole i made the holes fairly larger today just because this is one of the first times that i'm using this type of toy and Jericho gets it stuck on his paw, but then the work pays off because he's rewarded with a yummy treat and he crunches and snacks on it. <laughs> Another fun toy that you can make with toilet paper rolls is take the toilet paper roll and a sock, put the toilet paper roll inside the sock. You can use one or two, maybe just tie a knot here and use some organic catnip. Mm. Roll the sock down until you reach the toilet paper roll. Then you can sprinkle the catnip inside. And then just tie the sock, tie a little knot. Now you have a kicker toy. Catnip kicker toy. Catnip kick, kicker toy. Catnip kicker toy. That's hard to say. <laughs> Catnip kicker toy. If you're having trouble getting your cat to play, I'll leave a link to my book in the description below. It'll show you some more DIY cat toys and all of my secrets that I use to get him to play every day. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more cat happiness tips. Thanks for watching.